Hi, and welcome to Cedars Park in Chesham, one of Harvard's nicest and most historical parks. Just a short walk away from the main entrance is a tank plinth, which was built to display a tank given to the Chesham Council in 1921. The tank displayed on the plinth was a Mark IV, first produced in 1917. Next to the tank plinth, there is also a bench commemorating the 100th anniversary of the Great War. As you walk further into the park, near the centre, there is a 17th century disability garden with four flower beds. Walking down this small ramp here, you will come to the park's largest and oldest trees. These are about 250 years old. Also in this area is a duck pond, which was here in the original palace and is still here today. In recent years, the council has added a new pontoon for visitors overlooking the pond. There are plenty of benches around this pond for people to have picnics or to just enjoy the lovely views. Walking around the park, you'll notice all of the beautiful ruins from the old Theobald's Palace that still remain there today. We've now arrived at the Flintarch, which is one of the park's most interesting attractions. This structure was built here for the Royal Villa, purely as a folly for decoration. Looking at the Flintarch, you will notice two small huts either side of the arch. And these were ice houses. During the winter months they scraped ice from the frozen ponds and used it to re refrigerate meat and other foodstuffs as a form of early refrigeration. This entire structure was built in 1765. It's believed that the owner was inspired by Scott's Grotto in Ware, built five years before. The maze here at Cedars Park is quite a recent addition and is probably the park's most popular attraction. Just next to the maze is a bocce court, which can be used for bocce, boule or bowls. There are also benches and a small seating hut for spectators. Next to the bocce court is a chalkboard where children can bring their own chalk and draw on it. Around the southern part of the park are many wooden carved animals that children can sit on. There are three in total in the park, a camel, a tiger and an elephant. This area here used to be a deer park, as James I had a passion for hunting deer. It was originally 2,500 acres, enclosed by a 10 mile long brick wall. A substantial part of this deer park is now the A10 road. In front of me are the remains of an old summer house. 
Walking through the small arch takes you to a nature trail, which is very popular with primary schools and walking groups. In the western part of the park there's a small road leading off of Theobald's Lane which is the vehicle entrance. The short road leads to a small car park for people visiting by car. There's even parking for cycles too. This area is a perfect place for families to have a nice picnic under the trees. Next to the car park there is a very large multi-use field for dog walkers and people who are looking to have a nice picnic or play games. In the Tudor wall surrounding this field there are 15 niches in the wall called bee bowls designed to hold straw or mud skeps for bees to make honey. The wall was originally made from Tudor bricks but has been repeatedly repaired and rebuilt using brick salvage from demolished palace buildings as it has started to decay. There's another very, very large old tree here just next to the field, almost as big as the two next to the pond. There was an old palace house here and these are the only remains that are still here. Next to it are the remains of an old well from the palace. This wall is over 400 years old and is the largest ruin in the park. Built in 1572, it's also one of the oldest. In the centre of the park are clay carvings of the different people who owned the palace. This part of the park is known as the Cedars and the ruins are made of yellow London brick. Just next to the cafe is a commemorative plaque remembering Sir Hedworth Mew who donated Cedars Park to the public in 1921. The Cedars Park Cafe is very busy in the summer months and it's complete with indoor and outdoor seating. It's employed with barista trained staff to ensure a high quality cup of coffee. They also serve Styles farmhouse ice cream and fresh cakes. It has a hygiene rating of 5 and is recommended on TripAdvisor. This stone was fixed to the Theobald's Park wall at Albury Field. The wall was completed in 1621 by order of King James I enclosing the royal estate of Theobald. This was around 9.5 miles long. The stone was presented to the council in 1954 by Mr. Ian Hedworth Gilmoria, a relative of Admiral of the Fleet Sir Hedworth Mew, who gave Cedars Park to the, count to the people of Chesham in 1921. Previously known as Pets Corner, the Cedars Nature Centre has been heavily refurbished and now charges an entrance fee. To see photos from inside the Nature Centre, they have social media pages and a TripAdvisor website. They also host animal talks in their brand new wooden huts. There is also a Venusberg Mound, a spiral-like path and hill that children can walk up and down. Just next to it is a 17th century style wooden totem pole. We've now come to the end of this short tour of Sears Park. Thank you very much for watching.